Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're diving back into Call of Duty and Mobile my friends and today we're going to be using the BK57 Mardi Gras variant. I see this, this variant looks literally really beautiful and I thought to myself, do you know what? Let's jump into some multiplayer and I can show you guys how beautiful this variant really is in action. So, Cetus, this is what it looks like, boys. It looks beautiful. I just love like the camo and the color scheme to it. It just looks so good. But I'm going to try and try and drop you guys a nuke with this weapon if I possibly can. Well, I'm not going to get a nuke plane like that, unfortunately. But yeah, let's give this another go. I was going to stick like a red dot on it, but I, you know me, I kind of like the iron sights to like to this weapon. It's not, they're not terrible, but they're pretty, they're, they're pretty all right to use. You know what I mean? It's a very like clear sort of iron sight to it, but I would prefer to use this weapon with a red dot. That's just my preferable like opinion, but Acetas, it can be done without it. Come on. Alright, where is he? Where is he? Nice. Wait for him to push out the spawn. Oh, the spawns are flipping and everything. Just let him have the flags, boys. Just let him have it. Nice. Come on. We lost A. We're capturing Bravo. Can we get him on the cheeky grenade? We lost C. Ooh, I thought we could have had him then. B. Must have thrown it a little bit too far then or something. Come on, where is everyone at? They're all pu pushing from this area, though. A little bit of a lag there. Woohoo! Come on. Nice. Got a care package. Tell you what, though. This gun's got a really good fire rate to it. And I find that it's pretty accurate. The recoil in, it, the recoil in this weapon isn't terrible. It's, it's, it's manageable. But all that I recommend is if you're going to be using it, tap fire it. Don't hold it in, because I feel like it just flies out all like proper out of control. I can't even get my words out. It proper flies out of control, you know what I mean? So, Acetas, just tap fire it when you're using it. Especially if you're going for like longer range engagements. That's just my advice to you guys. Obviously, depending on your playstyle, you might use this weapon differently. But I want to know as well, what's your overall thoughts and opinions of this variant? Like, do you like the color scheme to it? Do you like the way it looks? Like, me personally, I think it looks beautiful. Really, really do. Let's just Hunter bad boy over there. Nice. Yeah, boy. See, only tend to like proper f go fully f go fully fire into people if they're like close range, or if they're at a distance, just tap fire it. Come on, we can do this. Keep pushing, boys. Keep pushing. Come on, Aaron. Nice. Got the nuke. Got the nuke. Nice. Right, let's drop this nuke. Drop the nuke, boys. Let's do this. This is why you should not mess with Aaron Cooper in Call of Duty Mobile. I will nuke you, boys. <laughs> yeah, boy. 
Nice. Cheeky double kill there. Sparrow is too good. Not gonna lie. Oh, needs a move, needs a move. Come on. Nice. But there we go, my friends. We managed to wrap the game up there. We dropped the nuke. And that, my friends, like I said, is the BK57 Mardi Gras variant. The BK57 is a great all-round weapon. I mainly use it when I play zombies. But it is a great variant to use within multiplayer. Uh, it's not a weapon I use all the time. But the variant itself stands out. I love the color scheme to it. I love the design of it. And I'm hoping moving forward we get some really, really cool, awesome designed weapons. And the Cetas, I'm just hoping we get a cool, more cool things just like that, to be honest. I really hope we do. But anyways, if you've got this weapon in your collection, let me know what you think of it. If you haven't, hopefully you get it one day in the future. I just want to say thank you for watching. You guys are absolutely awesome. And I really do appreciate all the support here on the channel, guys. And if you want to see more videos like this, then all I ask is that you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new. Turn on the post notification icon. It'll notify you when there'll be new content in the nearby future. And as always, got plenty more videos still to come. So make sure you tune into my channel every single day for a brand new video. And also, if you want to see more content from me, head over to, head over to my second channel, More Aaron Cooper, where I'm doing Let's Plays on different games and much, much more. And we went 33 and 1, which I really can't complain about that one, boys. That was a pretty good result. But anyways, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you again next time.